What's up everybody? My name is Vince. Welcome to the channel. And today we are going to attempt to address an issue that has been happening for a number of months with our Milwaukee Gen 3 impact driver. Now, I believe that this is the most powerful, bestest impact driver on the market today, but it has one little kink in the armor, and that is... <laughs> the collet on the tool. Under most circumstances, it works well. But under heavy use, spinning large paddle bits, driving large anchors, the collet sometimes will fail to retain its bit. Now, is it because of the quick attachment style of this collet or quick insertion? Look, it takes no, you don't need to pull on the collet ring to insert a bit. It just inserts. Now, the design of the collet has a single ball bearing for retention. Some other manufacturers, at least one that I can think of, has that quick style collet, but it has two ball bearings that retain the bit. I didn't really realize, as you can see, there wasn't a flaw or I did not have a problem with the collet initially. But after some extended and heavy use, I feel like the collet heated up and the lubrication, the grease that lubricates that collet burned off. Now I tried some sprays, graphite spray, silicon spray, and it, it doesn't seem to work under the conditions that we use it. So I'm wondering if I should pull apart the collet and try to lubricate it with some grease. See if we get better results with that. Now, quite frankly, this Gen 3, although it has been used, is still under warranty. Milwaukee has a five-year warranty. I don't suggest you pull apart your own collet. If you're having this issue, call 1-800-SAWDUST or go on milwaukee.com and have it serviced by Milwaukee. Quite frankly, I'm kind of interested in seeing the internals, and showing them to you, and maybe solving the issue on my own. Is it the smartest thing to do? Probably not, but we're gonna do it anyway. We're gonna remove the battery. I make no promises here. We might not fix this issue. We have a pair of snap ring pliers. Quite frankly, I don't believe, and what you can see here is, this is an external style snap ring. These points on this snap ring tool may be too big to get in there. So what we might have to do is, we kind of pried this snap ring apart. Be careful, it could go flying. So we have the snap ring kind of pulled up. Boom, out comes the snap ring. Out comes the washer. Out comes the spring. Off comes the collet. Now, you can see here, there is the retention ball. If you would insert this quarter inch bit, of course, that bulb will probably pop out. Okay, you'll, you'll see that the ball is supposed to push back down. But what's happening is, is it's getting stuck in the open position. Now, I'm not certain if that is because 
this retention spring isn't doing its job. I'm not certain. But what I want to do is I want to clean this burnt lubricant, which is just grease from the ball. I almost feel like I want to clean all of that lubricant off by using spray. I don't know if that's totally necessary. I don't know if I mentioned this or not. I'm pretty sure I said that if you were smart, you probably would use the, the warranty from Milwaukee. But be mindful that if you do this, you could potentially be voiding your warranty. So, don't do it. So I'm just cleaning out the collet itself of any residue. Now I'm thinking that what I'm going to do is I'm going to lubricate this with some high temperature grease. I want to make sure that you got to see like it's it's pretty much it's it, it seems like it's the 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 grease is so caked and I will say this I noticed that this spring was bent under instead of the way it should be now is that causing an issue I'm not certain I don't know but I just want to clean all of this baked on grease off of the collet components. This way, when we lubricate it, now some people said use graphite, but original equipment is grease. And I tried the graphite spray and it just didn't seem to work. I'm not certain that this will work, but I figured I'd give it a try. So, I just want to clean the anvil at this point. Now that we have it clean, I'm gonna kind of lubricate the anvil. All I'm using is some high temperature automotive grease. This is red and tacky. Is this what I should be using? Quite frankly, I don't know. It's the first time I've done this. Is it the right way? I don't know. This is the first time I've done this. But I figured I'd give it a try. <laughs> we do it together and then see if it works. There's no guarantee that it will. But, of course, if it doesn't, we're still going to publish the video anyway so you know what not to do. Your best bet is probably to, like I said, call 1-800-SAWDUST or go on the Milwaukee website and try that out now we've lubricated our spring with some of that red and tacky okay we're going to put the collet back down we're going to lube our washer as well lubrication this should be fun We have our snap ring. What do you think? Where are the odds it's going to go flying? We pulled it apart, we put it back together. My question is, leave it down below. Do you want to see us test this out?
It really would be great, I think, if Milwaukee would improve their collets to include dual ball bearing. Should we drive some screws, see how it works? How about we start out small and work our way up? What do you think? We really never had an issue with retention when driving screws, but now that I pulled it apart, let's make sure that we don't have a new issue. Nothing so far. Let's try some paddle bits. What do you think? Usually we have a problem with paddle bits. Should we start out with something small? Like a 3-8? What do you think? So we're retaining our paddle bit. A little better, but we still had a slip, right? Yeah. <gasps> You always know what the big, the big issue is. We start moving into the larger paddle bits. I feel like it's better than it was, but I still feel like there's an issue. But like I said, we're gonna make the repair. Whether it failed, it worked, we're gonna report our findings. I feel like we're sacrificing retention of the bit for the speed of inserting. I will say this, the collet is working better in the fact that at this point, Sometimes the ball would be stuck to the point where I'd have to tap the collet to free the ball loose. It's already retaining the bit again. But when I'm pulling the drill bit out of the wood, th thick wood, like if you had a drill through a king stud, okay, jack stud, you would possibly not retain your bit. You'd have to work it out over time. But, I have been having the issue where that ball is getting stuck and not retaining after, and that does not seem to be an issue after pulling it apart, putting it back together. Is it a permanent fix? It doesn't seem to be. I, I think that we would all be much better served if Milwaukee would consider doing, I like the, the quick, I like the quick insert attachment here of this collet. I think that the bits would be better retained if it had dual ball bearing collet as opposed to a single ball bearing collet. But uh, that's my take on it. It seems to be working somewhat better, but not perfectly. And if you like YouTubers that try to make repairs and show you the findings, whether they're good, bad, or indifferent, and smash the like button. Also, if this is your first time here and you're not already, make sure you're getting subscribed. I'm gonna reach out to uh, Milwaukee. I'm gonna ask them what their resolution is. I had told, I had called our local Milwaukee store. If you didn't know, we took a tour one time of the Milwaukee store. You can check out the video here. I contacted them, I told them about the issue. I asked them if they had a solution. They said they did. They said that they would repair the collet. I asked them after the repair, would they? The collet still be doing the same thing. They said no, it would be a more permanent repair. So, get subscribed, tap the bell notification, because we might just take this tool to the repair center and have them put a new and hopefully improved collet on this tool. With that, I want to say, I appreciate every single one of you being here. Thanks a lot, everybody. Let us know down in the comment section below, what kind of grease would you use on the collet? Would you use red and tacky? Would you use... Cobalt, would you use some kind of lubricant that's NASA designed? Would you use um, Flex Seal? I mean, let us know down in the comment section below what you would use on the collet.
video's over, but I know you want more. So this is how you're going to get it. First thing you need to do is pretend you're this guy. And you're here at the birthplace of freedom. Now ring that bell like it's 1776 and let all notifications through. What? You're not subscribed yet. Well, smash this button here. After that, watch this video here, here, and maybe over here. See you later.